Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial on doing a simple search in Mason Search. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to find items using Mason Search, understand what's in Mason Search, and learn how to sign into your library account. Mason Search allows you to search for everything in Mason Libraries print and media collection and some research database content. Mason Search is a great tool to use when just starting research or when we know the exact item we want and are looking to see if it is held in the library. We recommend signing in when using Mason Search. This not only expands accessible content, but it also allows saving sources as you go along. Sign in by selecting My Library Accounts in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Let's start a new search. Imagine we have just started a research project on student loan debt in the United States. Our instructor recommended a book and we want to see if the library has it. The title of the book is Game of Loans, The Rhetoric and Reality of Student Debt. As we type, we can see that we're offered the choice of searching the Mason catalog only or the WRLC catalog as well. By selecting WRLC catalog, this expands our search to include not only Mason libraries, but also our nine partner university libraries in the DC metro area. The Mason Learning Community has borrowing privileges at all these libraries for print materials. It looks like our first result is the one we need. Let's look at the record and see how we get it. This book is available online, indicated by the green text just below the title. Knowing where to look for the book's location, whether it's online or on the library shelves, is key. Not only does Mason Libraries have an expansive ebook collection, we also have four on campus physical spaces for our collection, as well as off site storage. And of course, as we mentioned before, access to our partner library's print materials. In this tutorial, you have learned how to do a basic library search. Log into your library account and find a known item. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.